Guys, just taking a quick look at this new power station from Dabson. This is the DBS2300. And this thing's got a very innovative setup going on with the battery and as far as the, the solar charging and stuff like that. So <laughs> we'll kind of talk about, um, you know, we'll get into all the details here in a second. But just to do like a real quick overview, just to see, you know, so you know what's kind of going on with this thing. Um, we do get a semi-solid state LFP battery. So this is kind of like the, the latest tech. You know, this is semi-solid state, but it's also LFP. And then, you know, it is expandable. Basically, you can add up to two expandable batteries. And then the solar charging, this is like a really unique setup. And uh, so we'll definitely got to talk about all that and all the details with that. And then um, it is a 2200 watt inverter. And the battery is kind of one of the main features that makes this thing stand out. So we do get, you know, EV grade, semi-solid state, LFP battery. And what they're saying here is actually 4,500 uh, cycles to 80%. Um, extra 500 with BMS. I have no idea what that means. But but yeah, they are claiming like a lot of charge cycles with this thing. And 30% higher energy density. So basically, they're just saying the form factor on this thing. You know, because most power stations, they're still using kind of cylindrical cells, as you see here. And so basically, if you want to compare like the same amount of capacity, you know, with this kind of what this uh, diagram is showing here, you you know, the cylindrical cells are just going to take up more space, as you can see, because there's there's space between each of the cells, right? You know, you got little gaps between all of the cells, you know, cylindrical, it doesn't fit into a nice square shape as well, right? But, you know, the one thing I would say is that um, typically that's not always a bad thing because then you can get, you know, you have little air channels between the batteries and that just kind of helps with keeping the batteries cool. But guess what? They explain it down here in this little like uh, Q&A section. Basically, they're saying, you know, the batteries have this multi-dimensional battery tab, which basically is it's like a larger surface area, you know, for the power going in and out of the battery. And so they're saying that it increases the current carrying capacity of the electrodes, solving the key problems that, that lead to temperature rise in the cells when you're charging and discharging and stuff like that. So basically, they're saying that, you know, having this multi-tab multi uh, setup is going to, you know, it's, the batteries aren't going to heat up as much. So there's, you know, there's a solution. And the end result is, you know, you can see here, you can really <laughs> pack a lot of power into uh, a smaller form factor, right? And that's kind of the, the big, this is the, the big thing with this product is that you get a lot of power, you know, we're talking, you know, 2.3 kilowatt hours. And this form factor is actually quite small, you know, and, and the weight too, it actually benefits the weight. So we're talking about 55 pounds, um, all in on this. So, you know, it's basically somewhere around like 10% uh, lighter, 10% smaller than, than something like uh, an Anchor 767 for comparison. And they are claiming these batteries have a safety advantage even compared to standard LFP batteries. So on the left side there, you know, there you go. The, this is the nail penetration test. The, the NMC batteries explode, no surprise. But even the standard LFP batteries, you know, they start smoking and, and they do get quite warm. But you can, as you see here, there's like basically no reaction from these new cells. And semi-solid state batteries means it's basically there's there's less liquid electrolyte inside these cells so that should allow it to be more compact as well so that's a nice benefit in addition to the safety aspect and you can expand the system so basically you know if you get the main unit 2.3 kilowatt hours and then you can either add one battery or up to two batteries so two a maximum of two batteries you can add to this thing for a total of a little over eight kilowatt hours. So basically, just to kind of do a quick overview on the specs here, the, the extra batteries, they are, it's, it's basically the same form factor, you know, the same size and weight, um, but there's no inverter or anything on it, but it does have kind of some unique uh, features as far as the solar goes. So yeah, we're gonna, we're getting there. We're gonna get there in a second, but, uh, um, but basically you get a little bit more capacity because there's no inverter. So it is about 3,000 watt hours or three kilowatt hours, but it's the solar. <laughs> it's, a, it's a solar that really makes this, uh, this setup stand out because as you know, like a lot of these um, systems that are out available now that, that have these kind of expandable batteries, the expandable batteries can often almost be like just dead weight, right? Like you can't really do much with them. Like if you're lucky, they'll give you some USB ports on them. But check this out. This is, this is just super cool. So um, just to kind of talk about the solar here, on the main unit, we basically get an XT60, okay, and it's got, you know, pretty decent specs. So 12 to 60 volts and 12 amps, I believe. And uh, the, basically the max input on that, that XT60 is 600 watts. So, you know, it's pretty decent. But check out, this is the real innovative thing here, is that on the extra batteries, guess what? We can actually do double the solar input of the main unit. 
1200 watts. And basically how they're achieving this, just to kind of make it simple, is there's basically two of those inputs. So if you actually get, you know, two expandable batteries here, you're gonna have a total of, you know, you got two inputs on here, two inputs on here, and then the main unit has one. So you're gonna have a total of five uh, inputs of those uh, 600 watt uh, XT60 inputs on that thing for a total of, you know, as you see here, 3000 watts. So this is just, you know, like big power. And it's not just, you know, the, the total, it's not just the, you know, the number. It's, it's the fact that, you know, these extra, it makes these extra batteries useful. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like this is something, it's just, this is just so smart because it, it makes you as a consumer say, Hey, you know what? I could actually use this extra battery for, for something, right? In this case, more solar in addition to the, to the capacity, you know, it's not just going to be dead weight. Um, because a lot of times what I would almost just recommend with these expandable systems is, you know, maybe just buy another one of the main units because then you'll have, you know, you have, it's basically more useful, right? You, you get that same capacity, but then you get uh, another set of the inverter, um, you know, all the outputs on it, right? It's just nice to kind of have redundancy, um, you know, for whatever reason, if you have an issue with, with one of the, the units or if you just want to use, you know, one unit in one location and another unit in another location, you know, so a lot of times it just doesn't make, you know, sense to buy the extra battery. Yes, they're a little bit cheaper, but then, you know, you're so limited on them. But with this, you know, this is, to me, this, this finally gives you a reason to actually want to go out and buy an extra battery, right? Now for charging from the wall, we do get, you know, on the main unit here, we do get up to 1800 watts. So, you know, that's a fast charge on there. There's no power brick. It's a bi-directional inverter. And then, you know, it does have an app as well. So if you want to slow that charge down, or I think they do actually have a little physical switch on the unit as well. <laughs> now, I kind of found this funny, easy to move. Um, so they're basically showing this little diagram here with these two units on it, like a roll cart. And remember, these are like 55 pounds each, right? So this, you know, what they're showing here is like a 110 pound setup. And they're saying it's easy to move. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's easy to move if you have a place on a roll cart. I mean, my full size refrigerator is easy to move if I have a place on a cart, you know? <laughs> yeah, and I almost forgot about this. Uh, EPS, this is, you know, UPS, they're calling it EPS. Um, and basically 15 milliseconds or less, so that's pretty good. All right, let's just wrap this thing up with a quick design analysis. You know, as I said, it's a very attractive unit. Um, which is basically, you know, the form factor is just a big cube, but they've done a lot of detail work on the design here with, you know, as far as, you know, adding the silver to the black, you know, that's obviously a very popular uh, color scheme, but it's the detail work, right? Take a look at this, all the different surfaces they have on the silver part here. And then even, um, even on the black, where they basically have this little cut line, look at this, they added a little bit of detail there as well. Same thing up top. So this is just, you know, it has a lot of visual interest. And it does, you know, it obviously just, it's all plastic, but it, it really just kind of breaks it up and it doesn't really appear to be just a big plastic cube, right? Now, as far as the layout of all the ports and stuff, it's pretty decent. Um, I do like this kind of better than like the EcoFlow layout because we do get basically stuff on the front, USB, 12 volt, a little bit of a light there as well. And then they do have the AC inverter and the charge ports on the side. So still pretty good, still pretty easy to get to. But the, the main thing that I really like about this unit is this handle design. They're basically tucking the handles into the corner of the unit, right? So um, they're fixed handles and you basically you just don't even notice them when you're not using them. And we do get a nice flat top because of that. And the best part is unlike EcoFlow, we do kind of have the handles tucked into the unit so they're not just, you know, sticking out as well. So that's it. That's the DBS 2300, you know, that's, it, it's just getting so exciting with the innovation all these power stations are having. And this it's just happening so fast. Um, so yeah, just another one you might want to add to your list, take a, take a look at, consider, whatever. And uh, hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.